popular amusement parks in downtown Phoenix, Enchanted Island. But a battle is brewing tonight between the park operators in the city of Phoenix. And the operators fear the park may end up being shut down. Laura Sample joins us live with the story. Laura? Well, John, the park operators say the city of Phoenix is harassing them. But the city says they're just making sure the operators fulfill their contract. Take a look at this surveillance video. You'll see City of Phoenix workers cutting off a chain link fence at Encanto Park. Craig Lyon, who operates Enchanted Island Amusement Park within Encanto Park, says he put the fence up because the picnic area is wet and dangerous. We put some chains and some you know caution signs up to warn the general public to, to not enter the area while we're irrigating. Um, we're also closed right now and it's, it's it's our responsibility to make sure the public's safe. But Inger Erickson with the city of Phoenix says the picnic area is public property and should be open. Uh, the contractor has exclusive use of kitty land um, and has use of the uh, picnic area when there is um, an activity, a rental, something like that. But when there isn't a rental, it's open to the public for public use. It's the latest in an ongoing dispute between the park operators and the city of Phoenix, the property owners. This is quite simply harassment. We're hurt. It's personal. For some reason, they've made it personal. But Erickson says it's strictly business. We want this to be a great asset for the community. We want to work together with the uh, uh, concessionaire, and we're trying to do that. We communicate regularly, um, and we try to do the best we can. The Lions fear the city wants them out of business. This is a great amenity for children. This is supposed to be a point of pride for the city of Phoenix, and it's an, it no longer is. The operators say they used to have a good relationship with the city, but it started falling apart a couple of years ago, and they don't know why. Reporting live, Laura Samble.